All right, now we're back on track. Now we're back on track. Oh, so exciting. 2020, it's strange year, but still exciting. All right. Oh man, all right everyone, here we go. It's time for the future. Breaking down the next two, three, four months on the vlog for all of you today. Uh, but first, we're gonna get some yard furniture, lawn furniture out of the blue tarps, put it under the carport, get ready for summer. And uh, oh yeah, tip of the day, here they are, nail clippers. At the beginning of every training block, I always clip my toenails. I won't film it, don't worry, I won't film it. <laughs> But I clip my toenails just to uh, make sure the toes are nice and happy as the volume increases. All right, everyone, here we go. And yes, I'm going to wear, wear some ultras as I do work just to stretch out those calves, stretch out the, the soleus. So the Tim 2s are going to work today. <laughs> Time to organize the shoe boxes. Onward and upward, onward and upward. Here we go, everybody. All right, I was gonna do this tonight, but I, I can't wait any longer. The housework is gonna have to wait a minute along with putting the patio furniture out. Here's the deal. Um, DGR virtual races were a week ago, amazing. Uh, but now it's time to look to the future. This is one of the most exciting vlogs um, that I like to make at the beginning of training blocks because it allows you to dream a little bit. It allows you to think outside the box, especially during these very interesting times that we are living through. But first, on December 30th, 2019, I said this. From that vlog one year ago, you all know how I like to look to the past in order to prepare for the future. Learning from my, my ups and downs in training and racing in 2019 before looking to 2020. Do you remember that vlog? Remember that? All right. And do more importantly, do you remember your goals for 2020? If you need to go revisit that vlog, maybe you wrote them down in the comments, upper right hand corner, go check that out. But here are, here are my six goals for 2020, okay? Be a healthier runner in more, in more ways than one. I explained it in that vlog. Set three FKTs on 14ers here in Colorado. All right, get to that in a minute. Set a half marathon PR. Almost accomplished that in a time trial here in Denver, uh, but it would be it would have been an unofficial PR, so I'm not counting it uh, even for like a elevation adjusted time. I don't do that. So set a half marathon PR, set a marathon PR, win a race, and do six group runs with all of you. Obviously, that last one is really up in the air right now with what's happening around the world. I'm hoping we can do group runs at some point in 2020, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Basically, what's happening for me and probably for you as well is there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a window right now to go do things that you wouldn't typically do if you were preparing for a race. And that's how I'm approaching basically May, and probably early June as well. And then just waiting, okay, that's, we're waiting for race directors around the world and across the United States to make decisions. And everywhere in the world is different as far as the amount of cases. Uh, it's just gonna be, you know, we just don't know. And I honestly, I just listen, listen to the experts. That's my, that's my approach. And so we shall see what these race directors end up deciding for all these races, including, all right, here's my list of races, summer 2020, that have not been canceled yet or postponed yet. But guess what? Mentally, I'm fully prepared mentally that they might be, okay? And I'll explain how I'm getting around that uh, in one second. So here we go. I'm a big fan of the Cirque series, okay? Cirque spelled C-I-R-Q-U-E. There's six races in this series, big mountain races, but um, lots of vertical gain, but not long. Usually like six to nine miles approximately are the, the distance. Four races in Utah, one in Alaska, and one in Colorado. They haven't made a decision yet. I think I saw on their website, I think I saw early May, maybe, maybe mid-May. So that decision should be coming soon. The Leadville half or full marathon, again, they're waiting to make a decision. Um, the Rendezvous Mountain Hill Climb in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and that is in early August, all right? That was a great race from 2019. Yeah, 2019 went up there. Great, uh, just a short six mile all uphill, loved it. And then of course the Pikes Peak Marathon. So all those littler, smaller, shorter races are a build up and lead up to the Pikes Peak Marathon if it ends up happening. Now, 
mentally, how do I get around? Let's say every single race is canceled. How am I staying uh, resolute in training hard, uh, pushing ahead with goals? Uh, well, the easy answer, really easy answer, is that uh, you're putting deposits in your aerobic bank account. Every time you get out the door, you're putting little deposits, sometimes big deposits, into your aerobic bank account. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two, and you know, that's all connected to building that aerobic engine. Uh, step number two is that I am pretty excited because uh, of this situation that all these races are off the table. I'm pretty excited that I can go chase down some FKTs, all right? Fastest known times fastest known times which is basically okay how can i explain this if there's a trail by your house that's popular there's a good chance many people have run that trail before meaning especially through strava um there's data from people's watches or their phones that connects to strava and it basically puts them all into a strava puts it all into a leaderboard and uh, automatically unless you change your settings and it tells you who has run that trail or a segment of a trail the fastest. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a virtual race, but on different days and different, even frankly, different years. Um, in addition to FKTs, which I, I realize it's hard to get an FKT because people are fast. But another idea for everyone, Strava segments personally, okay? So an idea, train right now for May and June and let's say in early July, you say, okay, in the next two weeks, early first two weeks of July, I'm going to try and set some new segment PRs on trails or roads around your house, wherever you live in the world, um, so you can chase down your own personal PRs for different segments. And if you use Strava, it should automatically updates based on your GPS watch and it does it automatically and it's a little hard to find in the desktop version of Strava but uh, dig into it and you yeah it's, it's, the Strava uh, desktop version of their website is not the best but anyway those are two ideas to throw out to you uh, FKTs and Strava personal Strava segments okay to keep that motivation up to get out the door and keep training all right so here we go my FKTs that I've mentioned some of them in the past some of them are new uh, that I'm going to be working toward over the next five to six weeks um, and probably into the summer as well. Again, depending on what happens with Pikes Peak Marathon. Here we go. So what I already mentioned, the three, and I'm going to be very specific here, not afraid to say it. The three 14ers I want to go after, uh, Princeton, Mount Princeton, which is my hometown mountain. Uh, Mount Albert, Sage has that uh, FKT at this time, Sage Canada, um, a VO2 Max Productions. All right, so Mount Albert, and then Longs Peak, which is a, f uh, a front range 14er here in Colorado. I ran it once last year, and um, I think I'm ready to give it a shot to go after that FKT. Okay, number two, Mount Sanitas in Boulder. I literally, my apartment in college was literally like a half mile from Mount Sanitas. So I, I feel connected to that mount, that little mountain. Um, and currently Killian has the FKT. Whenever Killian was uh, visiting Colorado, I think to run Hard Rock, he must have gone to Boulder and ran uh, Mount Sanitas in Boulder. So Killian had, I think it's like 14 minutes, very fast. Uh, mount Falcon, which is a very, very, I'll probably run Mount Falcon this week actually. All right, Mount Falcon. And I'm, I, I'm in second place right now on Mount Falcon and then Mount Morrison. So uh, Joe Gray and I, we have a little, little battle going on, a little battle. So I snagged the Mount Morrison FKT last summer. I don't know if I took it from Joe. Anyway, two days later, Joe took it back from me and I think he got it by like three seconds. It was a very, very close. So anyway, Mount Morrison uh, is again, just in my backyard. And then here we go, getting crazy, getting crazy, everybody. The longest run of my life, I am going to attempt to set the FKT on the Highline Canal. All right, if you're local to Denver, you know what that is. It's 100K, so it's exactly like 61 miles, I do believe, 62 miles approximately. Um, so it's like right at 100K, and it's a, it's, it's a very flat. Uh, this is where I do my 
uh, threshold runs, okay? You see it right now on your screen. So it's very flat and it's perfectly groomed. It's basically like a dirt road and it weaves through the city of Denver. It's an old basic, basically irrigation uh, system in Denver. So the Highline Canal is currently at like nine hours and 31 minutes for the FKT. And then, all right, two more that, all right, here's, here's I gotta be careful what I say. If the Pikes Peak Marathon is canceled, it will cross my mind again. I'm not committing. I'm not committing. But it will cross my mind again to relook at Nolan's 14. All right. I'm just going to leave it at that. If you know what Nolan's 14 is, you know what I'm talking about. All right. And then one last one is my brother and I are talking about another big mountain adventure for an FKT this summer. I'm not going to tell you which mountain range. We'll leave it at that. Again, my brother and I, it is in Colorado, but uh, my brother and I are looking at that. All right. So there you go. Keeping the spirits up, keeping the the competitive uh, juices going. I'm just going to say like we, I, as runners, just getting that, getting going because we can't, um, we can't get to starting lines right now. Um, so FKT's Strava segments, at least for me, for the next five weeks, is going to be some fun. It's just going to be fun because guess what? If you don't do well in an FKT, it's like who you know? It's like it's just you. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so anyway, that is the game plan moving forward. All right, let's go get this patio furniture set up. All right, now we're back on track. Now we're back on track. Oh, so exciting! 2020. It's a strange year, but still exciting. All right. Really? Ugh. Yeah. He's out. Just pull him. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. The the weather turned on us, so we're going to call it there. It doesn't look like much right now, but this is where we hang out all summer long. It's a good time. All right, question of the day. Um, have you thought about your summer 2020 running, training, racing FKT plans? All right, and maybe there's something that I am just totally not even thinking about. Share down below so we can all get the creative juices flowing. Sound good? All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching another day in the books. All right, everyone. We'll toss it back to, hmm. You know what? I'll surprise you. I have no idea. I'll toss it back to something right there. Probably an old vlog from uh, last summer running in the mountains. So that'll be right there, right there, right there. All right. See, beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.